Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in Gujo Hachiman, a beautiful castle town located in Gifu Prefecture. Not only is the town so very quaint and beautiful, overlooked by a wonderful historic castle, gorgeous mountains, it also happens to be the town that is the birthplace of Japan's famous wax food samples. So today I'm going to be trying all the different kinds of delicious foods they have to offer here, and I'm also going to learn how to make wax food samples. Let's go! I have just arrived at the food sample factory here in Gujo Hachiman, which is the city that makes over half of Japan's wax food samples. So what better place for me to learn how to make some wax food samples? Look at that, it's a gyoza keychain. How cute. This is a great place for foodies to come if you want a little souvenir. Gujo Hachiman, the owner of the Iwasaki-san, is the owner of the Iwasaki-san. The owner of the Iwasaki-san is the owner of the Iwasaki-san. I think that the owner of the Iwasaki-san is the owner of the Iwasaki-san. The Iwasaki-san was in the first time when the Iwasaki-san was in the water. ポトンと垂らしたらしいんです。垂らしたらこういう風な形の花みたいな形ができて、それを見て大人になって何かできないかなって思ったらしくて、一番最初にこれオムレツなんですけど、これを最初に作って奥様に見せたら本物とわからないよこれっていう風な形になって、そこから商売を始めていて、どんどんどんどん全国に広がっていったっていう形です。Time to make some shrimp. All right, so you hold it really high up, apparently, and then you pour it in. Hi. Not bad. It actually looks really tasty. I would eat that. <laughs> Ta da! My finished tempura food samples. It looks pretty realistic when you put it in one of these containers. Not bad. I feel like I could do better the second time around, but for the first time, I'm pleased. <laughs> I have just arrived at my lunch spot. Here we are at Sikimoto. It is apparently a folk art regional cuisine restaurant. The atmosphere outside of the restaurant is really cool, and I love the music. Konnichiwa. <laughs> I've never seen any restaurant like this before. The, the pathway is all stones. What on earth? Where am I? <laughs> what? Wow. This room feels really like I've just walked into, like stepped back in time or something. おいしそう。すごい、ありがとうございます。この店の歴史についてを教えていただけますか。うん、これは私が初めてからまだ50年。家そのものは150年から300年のこういうままの家で、食器も何もかもやっぱり地元のもので色々な変わったもので料理を作
and that really gives it like a nice kick of flavor. Well, this is a really glamorous meal. It makes me feel like a lord from the Edo period, but I have one more local specialty that I want to try. So let's finish this up and then we'll head over there. This beautiful town and the Gujo Hachiman Castle were founded in the 16th century. So that's why a lot of the buildings here look really, really traditional. But even the newer shops that are here seem to follow the same traditional aesthetic, which makes you feel like you should be walking through here wearing a kimono. It is such a wonderful town. I've arrived at my next stop called Daihachi, and here I'm going to try Hidagyu, which is a high-end Wagyu beef that is actually from Gifu Prefecture. What a beautiful restaurant! Ah, konnichiwa! Arigatou gozaimasu! Wow! Oh, sticky! Also, such a beautiful restaurant! Okay, so I know what I definitely want to get today. It's the Hidagyu Wagyu beef. There's a Hidagyu Yakiniku Donburi. So Donburi is a rice bowl, and on top there will be some grilled Hidagyu Wagyu beef on top. Let's get that. This is gonna be good, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let's dig in. Wait a second. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> One of the fattiest cuts of beef I may have ever tried. I've tried other Wagyu beefs before, but this one is, is really, really almost creamy fatty. It's just, it's almost buttery. It really tastes super good. I think I gotta try it with the rice now. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what to say other than that is really, really good. I also want to touch on the glaze that's on top of the meat. Also really on point. It's got a wonderful, almost teriyaki-like sauce. Wonderful bite of donburi. Maybe the best beef bowl I've had to date. Really good. And I've just arrived at my final cafe for today. This is Sogian, and I'm going to be trying one of their really beautiful and delicious parfaits that are really popular here. Let's go check it out. Wow, this is a beautiful cafe. It's a very traditional building with a beautiful Japanese garden outside. This is such a beautiful parfait set. The whole presentation is so gorgeous, visually very stunning. I love each component of it, just the way everything is laid out, the beautiful coaster under the cup, everything is perfection. Let's start with the iced matcha green tea. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, that is creamy. It's got a slight bitterness, but it's been frothed and whisked so well that a lot of the harsh bitterness has gone away. So it's very smooth and creamy, and of course, nice and cold in the summer heat. Now it's time to dig into this gorgeous parfait. I almost don't want to ruin it. It's just so pretty, but we're gonna do it. It's gonna be so good. Let's give it a try. It looks so good. I even got a few little puffs on there. Here we go. Mmm! First bite, amazing. The cream is very decadent. It almost tastes a little bit cheesy. It's got a little bit of a tanginess to it. It blends really well with the sweet red bean paste. The puffs add a little bit of crunch. And then I think I just touched, a, oh, and I got a little bit of the green tea powder on the top, so it really balances it out with a little bit of that green tea mellowness. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Let's go to the bottom. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, we got a little bit of jelly. There we go. There we go. A little bit of amber jelly, green tea pudding. It's nice and jiggly. 
There you go. I did my best to get everything onto the spoon. Let's try. Mmm. That's also very delightful. The hojicha jelly is wonderful. Oh my goodness. It's got a nice, like a slightly earthy, leafy, roasted taste, but the jelly is so light. And it's really not an overpowering taste at all. It's a very light earthiness that you get mixed in with this really creamy green tea pudding and of course the red bean paste, the crunch of the puffs, the tanginess of the cream. It's such a wonderful combination. I am now wrapping up my day here in Gujo Hachiman at the top of the mountain in front of the Gujo Hachiman Castle, which was originally said to have been founded in the year 1559 and was home to a feudal lord who arguably had the best view you could ever ask for because wow. I had such a great time here in Gujo Hachiman. It was so much fun walking through the beautiful town. If you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed trying some foods along with me, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys.